In this video, you'll learn what kind of information integration gives and how to calculate integration values for proton NMR spectra. The area under each signal is proportional to the number of protons producing that signal. The area is measured by the computer and represented by the integral line over each signal or by a numeric value below each signal. To measure the number of H's in a signal, first measure the height of the integral line with a ruler. Add the integral heights together. That value represents all the protons in that sample. The integral height for a single proton is determined by dividing the total height of the integrals by the number of protons in the chemical formula. If we go back to the example spectrum, we can measure the height of each of the integrals, measuring from the flat at the bottom to the flat at the top of the integral. We measure 18 millimeters for the first, 12 millimeters for the second, and 18 millimeters for the third. We add those three heights together, 18 plus 12 plus 18, which gives 48 millimeters. Now we divide 48 millimeters by the total number of H's in the formula, C4H8O2, which gives a value of 6 millimeters per proton. That value tells us that every 6 millimeters of integral height represents one proton. Now we can calculate how many protons are represented by each signal. For the first signal, which had an integral height of 18 millimeters, 18 millimeters divided by 6 millimeters per proton gives three hydrogens, or three protons. There are three protons represented by that signal, which I'll call signal A. Similarly, there are two protons in the middle signal, B, and three hydrogens in the third, rightmost signal, C. We can double check 3 plus 2 plus 3 does indeed add up to 8 H's in the formula. So the main idea in this video is that integration is used to determine the number of nuclei represented in the given signal, H's or proton atoms in this case.